I'm paid, I'm being paid to give advices to people and to counsel them. I mean, I remember psychology school. I was a star back then, like, what? The youngest graduate already, already having his cabinet at not even, what, 25 years old? And now a few years later, look at me. I'm miserable in a miserable apartment. Is that your life? I was kind of fearful, you know, at the beginning, how it would interfere with uh, with the well, well, with the with the process, you know, of of a therapy session, unconsciously have a view on their problems, so they just expose it. Mm -hmm. they, don't, they don't try to find solutions. They just want to, you know. get it out mm. of their chests mm. i've understood i am every day i am unhearthing the human in every person i am pointing to their flaws and their qualities mm -hmm. and i'm saying look at this take, an, take a step back i just they think that's what therapy is about And the whole time I was sitting there in front of her and I kept thinking you could be doing so much more of your life than this. You could be exploring, you could be you could be she was just fed up with how people interact with her, how she inter how she interacts with the world herself. She only come came once. She never came after that. I mean, I always had these, you know, these motivational quotes, like dumb quotes, like cheesy stuff. Mm -hmm. But when you think about it, it's kind of true. It's just that it's so simply true that it doesn't reflect the reality of humans living. I didn't have any friends trying to get advice. I didn't have any family trying to tell me you took the wrong lane and at first I didn't care about all that because I was doing for the people mm -hmm. I was I was doing for the people I need a revolution I need a renaissance I truly need a renaissance <laughs>